Okay, we're checking out Apollo 13 and I'm so excited! <laughs> Music by James Horner. Very excited. Tom Hanks, Ron Howard, Bill Paxton, Gary Sinise. Space! I know it's based on a true story too. Ron Howard, Bill. Apollo 1 pre-launch test, January 27th, 1967. The most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. To boldly go. And after that sudden and horrible fire on the launch pad during a routine test killed American astronauts. Which space shuttle mission was that? A mere 18 months after the tragedy of Apollo 1. Apollo 1. The entire world watched in awe as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. Can you imagine? Well, I'm sure some of you can. I can't imagine just watching that on TV. It must be the most united that humanity has ever been. Kevin Bacon! This thing sticks out here in front. That's called a pro. When you feel that thing slide in, everything's clicking. It's like no other feeling in the world. Oh my god. Space innuendo. This is the man. Gemini 7, Gemini 12, Apollo 8. They were Stop the first ones around the moon. Tom Hanks! The last champagne in the city of Houston. Champagne! For the la moon landing? Yes, champagne. Yes. Well, there. there he is. Man, I love this whole cast, I think. Don't worry. Our day's coming. We're not gonna cut the program before number 14. I love this crew. Man, all these guys in space. Yes! <laughs> this is wild. I can't imagine. I just gotta chill. Can you imagine? This is wild. Live from the surface of the moon. <laughs> She's just shushing. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb footbeds are only uh, depressed in the surface about... I've seen this footage before, but... Armstrong is on the moon. 38-year-old American. It's 38? That's young. That's so wild. July 20th, 1969. How many of you guys remember that? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I got chills. Can you imagine being other astronauts and just how epic that moment would be for you as a team of astronauts? You're drunk, Level. Based on Jim Level's book. Okay, cool. I can't deal with cleaning up. Let's sell the house. All right. <laughs> Me. I bet Jenny Armstrong doesn't get a wink of sleep tonight. Right? I love that she's just thinking of the wife's perspective. From now on, we live in a world where man has walked on the moon. It's so, it's so historic. In Apollo 8, we were so close. Just 60 nautical miles down. 60 miles? Oh, wow. It was like I could just step out and walk on the face of it. I never really thought of it, the other crews that probably practiced and got really close. Where's my mountain? It's uh, right up by the, the white area there. That's the Sea of Tranquility. And your mountain's right there on the edge of that. I don't see it. Well, you gotta look harder. You look harder. Oh God, they're so cute. I want to marry an astronaut, although they're probably very busy. <laughs> and yeah, actually, them in space, I'd be so worried. Never mind. Maybe I'll be the astronaut. The astronaut is only the most visible member of a very large team. I've been to NASA. The best part of each one of us, the belief that anything is possible. Best of humanity. A computer that can fit into a single room <laughs> and hold millions of pieces. Of and now we have this. When are you going up again, Jim? I'm slated to be the commander of Apollo 14 sometime late next year. If oh. there is an Apollo 14. Do they still have a space shuttle? missions? I don't think so. No, they don't. They ended them. How do you go to the bathroom in space? Good question. <laughs> it's a highly technical process of uh, cranking down the window and looking for a gas station, which... <laughs> He's so charming, huh? Jim, can I have a minute? Something's come up. Sure, you... Uh, Henry? Serious business. Anybody home? You are not wearing that out in this neighborhood. That's the end of it. She's a hippie. You know that Easter vacation trip we had so planned for off uh -oh. I was thinking uh, there might be a slight change in destination. Maybe, say, the moon. <gasps> Al Shepard's ear infection is flared up. They got bumped. Okay, I know something goes wrong, hence the movie, but I don't know what happens. Dad, can I please wear this? Sure. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I like it. You're gonna be ready in six months? We'll be ready. He's ready now. What they say he had an ear infection? Brutal. I'm gonna walk on the moon, Marilyn. I know. Naturally, it's 13. Why 13? Yeah. It comes after 12, huh? I think I'd be the same, like, seriously, 13, though? Seriously? I'm not even that su superstitious, but, you know. Okay, S4B. Oh, yeah, is I wanna stable. see the training. Cool, 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 cool. This is so cool. How accurate is all of this? How accurate is it to the history? How accurate is it to the way things looked? It looks very detailed to me. Shut down some thrusters on him. See what he does with this one. Whoa, I lost something here. I can't translate up. You want to just back off and take another run at this? No, no, I got it. I got it. Oh, man. Houston, I'm going to reset the high gain. I've got the target back in the rudder. Easy does it. He's good. Ten feet. 
captured. That's it. Nailed it. He's good. Gentlemen, that is the way we do that. Oh, man, that woke me up. I like this crew. Backup crew, you're up in the simulator. I see Kevin Bacon is the backup crew. I want to work it again. My rate of turn is still a little too slow there. He's a perfectionist. I like it. They're just so dedicated. You, I mean, they're astronauts. That's the best of the best. Fred, set the S-band Omni to B, and when you get in the limb, to forward. Are astronauts generally like former military? Ooh. Hey, we got a problem. Can't get your helmet on! I can't get it on! We got a massive Ah! Uh, oh, Frig. Oh, no. Mm-mm. the sound oh oh lord <laughs> nightmare nightmare well flying off into space pretty much is as bad as it can get three weeks prior to launch it's the wife i thought it was uh level how long will it take you to get to the moon four days look at this baby it's the saturn 4b booster and it shoots us away from the earth fred and i float down the tunnel into this guy the lunar module he's so sweet only holds two people just for landing on the moon and i take the controls for a nice landing on the moon better than neil armstrong <laughs> <laughs> better than neil armstrong mm -hmm. did you know the astronauts on the fire yeah oh. yeah i did i knew the astronauts in the fire yeah the kids would be worried well i'll tell you something about that fire the uh, the door. They couldn't get it open when they needed to get out. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, a lot of things went wrong in that fire. Did they fix it? Oh, yes, absolutely. We fixed it. He's so sweet. Oh, my God. I can't imagine worrying about your dad going to space. Holy crap. And that wife. Oh, boy. But, I mean, you got to support them. That's the definition of once in a lifetime. Hey, hey you're new level, aren't you? Hey, lucky 13. Celebrity. Right Lucky 13. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, I was looking at the kids' school schedule coming up thinking about not going to the launch. We've had these kids for a while now. <laughs> They've never kept you from coming uh, to the other launch. He wants her there. The other wives have not done three. Just, I just don't think I can go through all that. Third time going to space. Wow. I'll just be glad when this one's over. She's got a bad feeling. She had a nightmare. Oh, frig. Oh, you're gonna miss the show. He's upset. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, See you in a few weeks. Care. See you in a few weeks. Yeah, so he's a pilot. I mean, we I knew that already that he said he was a pilot, but I just wondered like military pilot. Very dashing, all three of them. Apollo 13, lifting off at 1300 hours and 13 minutes and entering the moon's gravity on April 13th. For real? All those 13s? Oh, frig. Nope. And we're also considered a real helpful letter we got from a fellow who said we ought to take a pig up with us for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are all really charming. I think that an astronaut's last mission, his final flight, well, that's that's always going to be very special. Retiring. Why is this your last, Jim? I'll be walking in a place where there's 400 degrees difference between sunlight and shadow. I can't imagine uh, ever topping that. Go out on top. Except I know everything goes wrong. Jim, we've got a problem. Charlie Duke has the measles, so we need a new backup. Oh, I've had the measles. Ken Mattingly has them. You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? Do you think he's going to get the measles? Jack Swigert has been out of the loop for a week. He's fully qualified to fly this mission. What is this, a couple days before? We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swigert. He's mystified. Or we can bump all three of you to a later mission. Oh, Frank. Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. So Ken isn't going to go? But I love this team. Frig! I mean, swapping because Gary Sinise for a Kevin Bacon? I don't know. Kevin Bacon's great. Swigert. Swigert. Yeah. Oh, he'll yes. be happy. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's good music in this. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, Frig. How's he gonna take it? They just think he's gonna get the measles? That's friggin' stupid. I almost swore there. Medical guys. I had a feeling when they started doing all the blood tests. I mean, I know it's their ass if I get sick up there, but I mean, Jesus! He's worked so hard. Frig. I was level that told him. They've been training together for so long. Swigert, he'll he'll be fine. He's uh, he's strong. Well, that's nice of him to say. Look, I don't have the measles. I'm not gonna get the measles. Do they have any time to train with the other guy? Trajectory's holding steady. We're right on the line. Not to lose signal. That's the story here. Oh, this music. We're coming in too shallow. I'm going to manual. Is he like a risky guy? Hey, we're at three Gs, five Gs coming in too steep. He's messing it up. We're at eight G's. Oh, frick, eight, eight G's. Twelve G's, we're running up. Failed. I gave him a false indicator light right at entry interface. Even Mattingly didn't get it the first time. Oh, frig. I thought this is bad. There's such a level of tension in this movie, like you know crap's gonna go wrong. Came in too steep. We're dead. 
Jim, could we have a word? Are they gonna be like, you're not ready? I feel bad for the new guy though, too. Like they said even Mattingly didn't get it his first time. If I had a dollar for every time they killed me in this thing, I, I wouldn't have to work for you, D. <laughs> right, none of them have confidence in this. Well, we have two days, we'll be ready. Two days! Let's do it again. Do it again. I know crap's gonna go wrong, but it's a question of when. I'm really glad I didn't look up anything about it beforehand. We don't want daddy to get any of our germs and get sick in outer space, right? Princess, you look beautiful. You'd be so proud of your dad. Oh. She came. Oh, they're a sweet couple. He's so happy. Well, hey, that looks like Marilyn Lovell. You can't live without me. Don't die in space. Look at that rocket in the background. You hear about Ken? Yeah. She's gonna be even more worried now. They're sweet. They don't even need to say the things. They just know. Oh, oh I love them as a, as a couple. Look at this! All right, here we go. Stand back, please. Is that sandpaper? Ah, Gunther Vent. <laughs> I wonder where Gunther Vent. We walk on the moon. Yeah, yeah. Right. And we talk on the moon. <laughs> and we talk on the moon. Oh, he doesn't even need to shave. He's all hairless. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, that's sus. That's a bad omen. Oh. Straight green. I like this music. I'm gonna give these guys a beautiful ride. Sure you will, Jack. I hope so. Holy frig. Woo! Oh, this music. Oh, yes. This is epic music. Mission Control, Houston, Texas. This is from your wife, G. I'm starting to get worried. There. I like it. A vest? I like that one, Gene. I like that one, Gene. Does his wife make him a new vest every time? That's cute. Junior all set. I was thinking how rough they were being, but you'd really want to strap yourself in for this. <laughs> Gorgeous vest. <laughs> oh, I love him too. This movie's got a stacked cast. Holy. Brr. Ooh. Apollo 13 flight controllers, give me a go, no, go for launch. All right, we're launching. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. We're go for launch. This is so cool. T minus 60 seconds and counting. Brr, brr. Oh, he's there. Oh. This music is perfect for this moment. It's excitement, but also a little nervous, but it's excitement. Mm. We are go for launch. T minus. Looks like pieces are breaking off. Is that normal? <laughs> Talk about an explosion. <laughs> I never thought about how bumpy it would be. Holy crap. It's so wild that humans do this. I think I'd be crying too. What are all the pieces? Come on, baby. Come on. Altitude. Yes. I feel like triumphant as a human, as a as the human species. Holy crap, they're going so fast. <laughs> Looks good, flag right down the middle. All right. So far so good. <laughs> oh, this brass, holy. This music. Houston, this is 13. We've got a center engine cut off. Go on the other four. Already? They lost an engine immediately. He's thinking Houston, about it. The story on engine five. We'll be all right as long as we don't lose another one. Our gambles are good. Our trim is good. Gambles. Cool. Poor Ken. Cool car. They just leave all that, like, space debris up there? And that, human, is how we do that. In space! Oh, <laughs> so cool. This choir music is perfect for this. If there's something angelic and like heavenly about it, you know, they're they're in the sky, man. They're in space. Heavenly. Okay, uh, Houston's the MP here. I've exchanged couches with Jim. I'm in the pilot seat. See, all right. I wonder what the temperature is. Oh, he's morphing. Oh, that would actually be me, though. Ew. Oh, and it floats. Oh, blech. I never thought about that. Yeah, the nausea would be real. We're ready for CSM separation. Okay, SMR, CSI, so valves are all gray. I'm nervous. Swigert, command module pilot. He's all yours. Don't mess it up. You could do it, buddy. You 
Houston, we've got a good separation. We're going to start to pitch around to line up with the limb. And pitching up. All right, this is what he messed up in the simulator, right? Swagger can't duck this thing. We don't have a mission. If he can't, would they just turn around and go home? Watch the lineman now. Come on, buddy, you got this. He's nervous. This is a tense moment. So much pressure on him. Everybody's just waiting on him. You got this. He's aiming for that little thing. Looks good. Nice and straight, Tennessee. just like the beer. Okay, okay, okay. Catch. That's it. Talk back is Barbara Paul. Go ahead and retract. I did it. It would be so loud, wouldn't it? He did it, he did it, he did it, he did it, he did it. All right, Best is proud of him. We have lamb extraction. Oh, we copied that 13. Now you're off to the Frog Mar Highland. That's the spidery thing. Hey, I'm hungry. Are you sure? I could eat the ass out of a dead rhinoceros. Ew! <laughs> okay, that is hungry. Day three, April 13th. Does it go wrong on April 13th? Oh, frig. Oh, it's too bad we can't demonstrate this on TV. CP? I wonder how girls go to the bathroom in space, though. It's not like that. Well, maybe. Mm. Urine dump. Constellation Urion. <laughs> so beautiful. Barbara, we are going to your father's broadcast. No. She's still going on about the stupid Beatles breaking up. <laughs> stupid. <Barbara. laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. Imagine you were a teenager when the Beatles broke up. Yeah, I'd be me. Okay, uh, good evening, uh, America. We have a pretty good show in store for you tonight. He's so cute. Okay, one of the first things we'd like. Just watching baseball instead. Hello. Oh. That was probably high tech back in the day. <laughs> so cute. That uh, was supposed to be the theme to 2001. Still need to see 2001. When I go up there on 19, I'm going to take my entire collection of Johnny Cash along. So it's all astronauts that like rotate and do all the jobs. That's cool. Hey, Marilyn. What's their broadcast? All the networks dumped us. One of them said we made going to the moon about as exciting as taking a trip to Pittsburgh. None of the networks are showing it? That's garbage. My son's supposed to be on. He's in outer space. The they probably think she's nuts. Sure he is. This is so cool. I would watch this. Do they know they're not in the air? They'll tell them when they get back. She's like, oh, whatever, man. <laughs> if anyone from the, uh, the IRS is watching, I forgot to file my, my, my 1040 return. <laughs> That's no joke. They'll jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking IRS. CRA if you're Canadian. Now, when we get ready to land on the moon, Fred Hayes and I will float so through cool. this access. How'd they shoot this? Wires? The uh, skin of the <laughs> lamb in some places is only as <laughs> as thick as a couple of uh, layers of tin foil. Did you just say it's only as thick as a couple layers of tin foil? Frig off. To the land. Stand by one, Houston. Gotcha. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. That's not cool. Don't, no pranks in space. Oh my God. Our next broadcast will be from Frau Mora on the surface of the moon. She's so proud. Wishing everyone back on Earth uh, a pleasant evening. I like that. That was good. Then if you could uh, give your oxygen tanks a stir. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, here we go, here we go. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It didn't separate right now, he would have been blown out. What did you do? Nothing, I stirred the tanks. Whoa! Whoa! Something happened. Houston, we have a problem. I've heard that, I've heard that. It's it's here, Houston, now. It just went offline. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's just chaos now. <gasps> All the lights are going on. All right, I'm going to SDS. It's not a fire, right? Fuel cells one and three are... Oh boy, what's <laughs> going on here? Flight, let me get back to you. That's not what you want to hear. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me check. You can't GMC, these guys are talking about bangs and shimmies up there. It doesn't sound like instrumentation to me. He's right. We've been hit by a media, we'd be dead by now. See, they don't even know what happened. Hey, what's the story here, Jack? We keep flirting with gimbal lock. What does that mean? Doesn't sound good. Okay, oh, these shots, so chaotic. Yeah. Bam. AC bam. Bus one. AC bus Do you figure it out? Houston, we are venting something out into space. Not urine. Right now. Oh, that shot. Definitely uh, the gas of some sort. It's got to be the oxygen. They're venting their oxygen into space. This, oh, man, the sound. 
because that's bad, bad news. I got chills. Woof. Roger, Odyssey, we copy your venting. Give me an alarm. Okay, okay. let's yeah, everybody into a four level. They know this is bad. Quiet down. Let's stay cool, people. Stay cool, stay cool, stay cool. Let's work the problem, people. Let's not make things worse by guessing. I like him. I'm glad he's in charge. He's cool under pressure. I think astronauts to have to be one. cool under pressure. They have to be able to work well in the highest stress possible. What have we got on the spacecraft that's good? I'll get back to you, Gene. It's Gene, hold on. I don't, I don't know what's happening. We're not going to have power much longer. The ship's bleeding to death. They're going to lose power? Fly and I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves of the fuel cells. We can isolate it there and we can save what's left in the tanks and we can run on the good cell. You close them, you can't open them again. You can't land on the moon with one healthy fuel cell. From my chair here, this is the last option. So they can't land on the moon? Well, I'm mainly just worried about them dying, so... Capcom, let's have them close the reactant valves. Are you saying you want the whole smash? Shutting down the fuel cells. Did I hear you right? Yeah, they heard me right. I think he knows what that means. We think that closing the react valves may stop the leak. Yes, Houston, we copy. He's disappointed, too. We just lost the moon. Who knows what it means, yeah. Oh, geez. That's like the biggest disappointment for these guys. Let's stop the leak. That would suck if they did that and it didn't. This doesn't work. We're not going to have enough power left to get home. That's what I'm worried about. <gasps> it's still going down. <gasps> it didn't work. Power down everything so we can save as much as we can for re-entry. 15 minutes of oxygen and that's it. The command module will be dead. 15 minutes? Listen up, here's the drill. We're moving minutes. the astronauts over to the LEM. Gotta get some oxygen up there. The lunar module just became a lifeboat. That's what they were supposed to fly down to the moon, right? You got 15 minutes, Fredo. It's worse than I thought. What do you have to do to power it up? Are they gonna separate then? Jack can't get that guidance computer data transferred before they go dead in They won't there. even know which way they're pointed. They won't know which way they're pointed. Everybody, right, everybody, right, stay cool, focus. Oh my god. Houston, our computer is up. Is he just doing math with a pencil? Holy frig. They better be good at math. I've uh, completed these gimbal conversions, but uh, I need a double check of the arithmetic. Yeah, let's double check that. They're all doing it by hand. Wow, this is a, this is the big difference. It's bananas. They got to the moon doing math by hand. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, I'm sure there's a computer that does this now. This is just wild. They must have been so much smarter than we are. Looks good, Fly. It's all right. This math checks out. You're good. Log him in, Fredo. Lovell knows his math. I'm very impressed by that. Very cool. I wonder if Ken's gonna be relieved that he's not there. He didn't hear it. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has lost all electrical power. Slow down. An electrical failure. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, oh right. What is she gonna think? Oh, frig. And could endanger the lives of the astronaut themselves. Just hearing it on the news. What do you mean there's no immediate danger? I, I just heard they're losing oxygen. Can they get back? I'd be losing it. They don't have control? Do we miss a step here? Oh no. Doesn't matter, guys. Fix it. Fix it. Flying with a dead elven on our back. Wasn't designed to fly like that. Uh, Aquarius, uh, this is Houston. We got you both on box. We have a hot mind. We're reading everything you say. Sorry, Jim. Oh, so they usually can't hear everything they're saying unless they like. Why are there so many people here? Mm -hmm. I said he was going to get me a moon rock. Right. Did the kids see the TV? Something broke on your daddy's spaceship. And he's going to have to turn around before he even gets to the moon. Is it the door? Oh, poor baby. We still show that bedding pushing you around. Oh. Hey. Do we know for sure that we can power this thing back up? It's gonna get awfully cold in here. It's gonna get cold. Computer off. We're going the lamp. Lunar module now in control. Roger that, Houston. This is Odyssey. Signing off. Oh, this music. There's some sounds back there that are unsettling. Like when you're in space and in peril. Oh boy. Uh, Houston, how far off course do you project we are? Over? Right. Yes, the meeting. From this moment on, we are improvising a new mission. Overhead. Oh, come on. Uh, um, Sorry. Does anything work at NASA? Holy. I agree with Jerry. Use the moon's gravity, slingshot them around. Around? We don't even know if the Odyssey's engines even working, and if there's been serious damage to this spacecraft. They blow up and they die. Oh, we are talking about time, oh, not whether or not these guys... I guess time is a factor here, for sure. But the only thing the command module is good for is re-entry, so that leaves us with the LEM, which means free return trajectory. Did he say slingshot? We can't make any guarantees. We designed the LEM to land on the moon. Not fire the engine out there for course correct. I don't care what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. I like him. I like him. He's a good leader. After this burn, we've got to build some time in the flight plan for them to get some sleep. It's true, actually. I can't imagine they're sleeping very well. We expect loss of signal in less than one minute when we pick you up.
you back up, we will have your PC plus two burn data. So they're going to the dark side of the moon. You want to look? Ooh. Oh, look at that. The voices, they're so heavenly, but there's also like disappointment. Air tranquilitas. You and Buzz's old neighborhood. Coming Oof. up on Mount Maryland. Jim, you got to take a look at this. I've seen it. Yeah, he's been here before. This must be so disappointing for him. He's got so close twice now. So I wonder if catch you on the flip side. That's the coolest thing to say before you go to the dark side of the moon. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, it doesn't get cooler than that. Poor Marilyn. The poor wives. Oh my God, the families. Yeah, I'd be losing it. I would be losing it. If my husband, who was a sweetie pie, was in space. Yeah. Look, it's Frau Morrow. That's where they were going to land? You can see our landing site. Look at that Tsiolkovsky crater. It's Mary Imbrium to the north. Oh, I feel so bad for him. It's gotta have been, it's his dream for his entire life and he's so close. Oh, I have chills. To work so hard for so long. Can you imagine being on the moon? Wow. Telemetry. Good to see you again. Oh, frig. At a distance from the moon of 56 nautical miles. Oh, just like you used to do with the moon. Gotta tell you, I'd need to take this baby down, though. Do some prospecting. So close. Frodo, let's get an idea where we stand on the consumables. Jack, get into the Odyssey and bag up all the water you can before it freezes. Let's go home. Yeah, let's get them home. Holy. So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. 45 hours for what? Water? Air? Power is everything. What do you mean? We gotta turn everything off. With everything on, the LEM draws 60 amps. At that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead. Not 45. We gotta get them down to 12 amps. 60 to 12? Okay, John. The minute we finish the burn, we'll power down the LEM. They have to turn everything off. We're gonna have a frozen command module up there. In a couple days, we're gonna have to power it up, use nothing but the re-entry batteries. <sighs> no, we've never even simulated it before, Gene. They've never even simulated it. I want people in our simulators, working re-entry scenarios. Yeah, let's go. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. Yes, Gene. Ken? Yeah, we need Ken. Where's Ken? Ken? Took his phone off the hook. Good, you're not dead. I'm trying to get in touch with <laughs> you for 45 minutes. He doesn't even know. Gotta get you in the simulators. We gotta ship the land. There's been an explosion. Oxygen tanks are gone. Two fuel cells gone. Command module shut down. He must be like, what the frig? I need the sim cold and dark. I mean, the exact same conditions we've got in there now. Get the show on the road. Put yes. him in space, fellas. This is cool. I like, I, I'm happy that he's in the mix. Okay, it's gonna help. Where is? We don't want you to make any more waste dumps. Heading may push you off course. No more waste dumps? No more waste dumps. We're just gonna have to store it. Ew. And that's it. We just put Sir Isaac Newton in the driver's seat. Just gravity. None of them has slept since I can't the order these guys to go to sleep. They're not sleeping. Then they're not thinking straight either. We have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. What now? Five filters on the limb, which are meant for two guys for a day and a half. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. <laughs> Perfect. Tell me this isn't a government operation. <laughs> Gene. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole rapidly. Make it happen, fellas. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. <laughs> Using nothing but that. That's everything they have on the ship. Henry, don't you ever sleep? I, uh, I have a request from the news people. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They're out front here, and they want to put a transmitter up on the lawn. It's kind of a tower for live broadcasts. They should leave her alone. I thought they didn't care about this mission. They didn't even run Jim's show. More dramatic now. Suddenly people are... Oh, if landing on the moon wasn't dramatic enough for them, why should not landing on it be? Yes, Marilyn. Those people don't put one piece of equipment on my lawn. If they have a problem with that, they can take it up with my husband. He'll be home on Friday. The poor families. Meanwhile in space. Oh, they don't look good. They do need to sleep, don't they? Looks friggin' freezing. Oh my god. You really can't sleep if it's too cold. Hey friends, too cold in there. Being too cold is really hard on your body. Touch the moon for us. It's a nice one, Mary. You don't look too good, Fredo. No, he doesn't. It was an accident, Mary getting pregnant. That has a tendency to happen. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. You're gonna find out soon enough. Yes. I never dreamed I'd ever get to do something like this. Most of the guys I graduated high school with never even left home. Here I am. It's crazy. I've been going over the numbers again. Have they called up with a re-entry plan yet? Because we're coming in too shallow. We're working on something. Coming in too shallow. I'm trying to tell you we're coming in too fast. I think they know it. And I think that's why we don't have a god re-entry. He's starting to lose it. Oh, God! Hey! Fish gonna get you home. All right. That's because that's the only thing we got left, Jack. Get along. You're in space. Are they about to fight? Now, wait a minute. 
All I did was stir those tanks. What was that gauge reading before you hit the switch? They think you did something wrong? Stop kicking yourself in the ass. This is not my fault! No one is saying it is. Yeah, we'll tell him that. Fred thinks he did it. I'm not gonna go bouncing off the walls for 10 minutes trying to figure out how to stay alive. They all need some sleep. Where is this, Houston? Yeah, Houston, this is Aquarius. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello, nothing's going on. Yeah, Jim, uh, could you check your CO2 gauge for us? We're just looking at that. Uh, our CO2 measurement has jumped four notches in the last hour. Didn't they say if they get to 15, they're going to start to black out? Yeah, we're working on a procedure down here for you. Square peg in a round hole. Christ, I know why my numbers are wrong. Did the math wrong? I only figured it for two people. Maybe I should just hold my breath. Deadly. I guess the math would normally be for the two going down to the moon, right? <laughs> What's this? That's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me right here. That's it? That's it, let's do it. Fashion it. I want you to rip the cover off the flight plan. Two lithium hydroxide canister. A roll of gray tape and duct tape. Oh, they gotta make it. And they can't even see it, so I hope they can picture it. Okay, Jack, Ooh. tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. Hold on, here. Oh, Frig. I think they get it. One thing they have too much of is carbon dioxide. Freaking CO2. Problem is, if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. Yeah, let's friggin' hope nothing else goes wrong. Whoa. Cool shot. <laughs> is he starting to... They said they'd be disoriented. Oh, he's starting to feel it. Filter's in place. Yeah, Roger, 13. I can hear him. Is it gonna work? Da -da -da. Uh, we're still holding close to 15 units. Oh, that's good, right? Houston, the CO2 level has dropped to 9, and it is still falling. Nailed it. Finally, something went right. You, sir, are a steely-eyed missile man. <laughs> steely-eyed missile man. Okay, spacecraft controlled by computer. Ken is on it. The overload is. All right, which one has the leak? Don't know that yet, John. You need a break, Ken? If they don't get one, I don't get one. He's good. Blanche, it's Marilyn. Hi, Grandma. She's sweet. There's been an accident. Jimmy's okay. He's all right. I don't know if I would tell her. Now there's been an explosion. They're all okay. They're all right. Oh, oh poor baby. Don't you worry, honey. If they could get a washing machine to fly, my Jimmy could land it. Oh. She's so sweet. Oh, the condensation. Oh, oh, the music. Yikes. Oh, Frank. They got pee just flying around. Oh, boy. Tell them they have to sleep. Right. This is running a fever of 104. 104? Uh oh. See how he feels about this. I am sick and tired. The entire Western world knowing how my kidneys are functioning. Flight, I just lost level. <laughs> well. I'm not wearing my biomed sensors, Houston. <laughs> Gene, he's like, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, fellas. Do you still think they should get some sleep, though? Gene, it, it's not the velocity, it's the angle. Are they coming in too shallow? At this rate, they nick the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off into space. We never get them back. We need another burn to get them back in the, in the core. They bounce off into space. Oh my god. Frozen solid. Oh boy. Well, now look, Houston, all we need to hold attitude is one fixed point in space. Well, Houston, we've got one. Earth. If we can keep the Earth in the window, flying manually, the coax crosshairs right on its terminator. Terminator. All I have to know is how long do we need to burn the engine? The shorter, the better. Can they fly it manually and still shut it down on time without the computer? I guess that's the best we can do, Glenn. So to fly without the computer. If they're too steep, they'll incinerate in the steadily thickening air. If they're too shallow, they'll ricochet off the atmosphere feel like a rock skipping off a pond. Oh my god. The entry corridor is in fact so narrow, the crew would have to hit a target no thicker than this piece of paper. With just what, doing it with the earth in the window? They're gonna burn the engines and steer it manually, attempting to keep the earth in the window. Steer it manually. And they're they're also tired. You handle the pitch, but on the translation controller, it's all backwards. Everything's backwards. We're gonna burn a 10% thrust for 39 seconds. Jack, you time us. You up to this, Fredo? Is he looks bad. Come on, baby. One more burn. Oh, let's just go. Oh, shoot. Right over. Ba -da -da -da. It's dragging. They gotta keep the earth in the window. Come to the right a little bit. It's music. Keep drifting. I'm losing attitude. She should not be listening to this. They're all over the place. Six, seven, back, 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 back. Back. Oh. Shut down. Don't go to. 
<sighs> or it's in the window. This was so they could like realign the angle they're coming coming in at, right? Good work. No, I am not that limb, huh? Oh, shut up, man. And Jean's like, whatever, man. Well, nice job, boys. Holy moly. And they did all that, like, on no sleep, feeling sick, stressed, no computer guidance. Now we gotta get them in. Tell me about the power-up procedures. Here's the order of what I wanna do. Yeah, I can. What do you got? Power-up guidance, ECS, communications. He's so handsome right now. Okay, I'm gonna go back and reorganize the sequencing again and find more power. Let's start from scratch. He's really working hard here. Come on, Ken, you can solve this. Let's go for it. I'm okay. <laughs> Oh no. Hope it was just a burst disc. We confirm that, Jim. Is that fine? A burst disc? Jim, this is Deke. Hello there, Deke. What's the story? Jim, we're gonna get that power up procedure to you. We're gonna get it as soon as we possibly can. Got the big boss. Ken Mattingly's in the simulator right now. Ken's working on it. Ken can do it. Ken can do it. They got it? You know they have some power left in the limb batteries, right? You're gonna lose a lot in the transfer, Ken. Yeah, but all we're talking about here is four amps. Do it. We'll do it. I am you is up on my reading. Fine so far. Let's go, let's go. Bloodlines to fixed. Oh my god, these sounds though. Woof. All right, good, good. Things are turning on. Is your computer on now? Up and running. That's it. How do we look? That's it, right? I think we got it, buddy. Yes. Woof. Oh, right. Horner is just killing it with this music. Ken's on the scene. Ken and Gene. Has it tried it on the hardware yet? We didn't have time. They just tried it in the simulator. Are the flowers blooming in Houston? That's a negative, Jim. I don't have the measles. Oh, right. Friggin' doctor. Blanche, these nice young men are gonna watch the television with you. This is Neil Armstrong and this is Buzz. Aldrin. Their job the is in the space program too. <laughs> She's so cute. Their job is just to distract the old lady. Uh, Ken, there's an awful lot of condensation on these panels. What's the word on these things shorting out? Yeah, for real. That's what I'm worried about. You don't do condensation on electrical panels. It's like trying to drive a toaster through a car wash. Don't get electrocuted, man. <laughs> Okay, they are getting close. It's almost like they're underway. Now, how can they be underway? We didn't land on the moon. Rocks. Moon rocks. Well, you got to get the weight right. We were expecting you to be toting a couple hundred pounds of moon rocks. That's right. ABC News Science Editor. Aww. Yeah, I guess the whole world is probably watching it on TV right now, right? Poor guy. Uplink telemetry, command module to accept, right? Go ahead and try it. Just, just waiting. And there's so much tension. Cool shot. Uplink completed. It worked, it worked, it worked. Yeah, that's business. more like oh, it. Let's go. Ken! Ken nailed it. Flight, this is retro. We are looking at a typhoon warning. On the edge of the prime recovery zone. <laughs> it's just a warning flight. It could miss them. Only if their luck changes. For real. <sighs> we have service module, Jenna. We're going to take a look at what we have here. Oh. Oh, they can see what happened. Right by the high gain antenna, a whole panel is blown out. Right up to our heat shield. The heat shield. The heat shield. Uh -huh. If the heat shield is even slightly cracked, the extreme cold could have split it wide open. Worst of all, if the pyrotechnics that control the parachutes have been damaged, the chutes may not open at all. Oh, Frank. Oh, Frank. Bad news just doesn't stop. Is he okay? Right on. You okay? Is he? Oh, I'm it's a little while longer. Right on. Man, hope he makes it. Jeez. Hey, yeah, it looks bad. Let's get that hatch buttoned up, and uh, when you get a chance, let us know how you're doing. He can barely move. So cold, Frank. Sheesh. We're coming up on Lem Jettison. All right. Sorry, Jack. This is an old habit. Kind of used to the pilot seat. She's yours to fly. Okay, out of seat. All right, it's all on Jack. What is that? I was getting a little punchy and I didn't want to cut the lem loose with you guys still in it. It's <laughs> good thinking. No. <laughs> getting real pissed off. Okay. We have lunar module jettison. All right, so just the little pod. She sure was a good ship. Very well, Aquarius. And we thank you. Mary. It's almost time, honey. Mm. This poor pregnant lady. Jeez. All right, this is it. We gotta hope the heat doesn't get them. And the parachutes. Okay, Ken, we are aligned for re-entry. That's C. Shit, no volts, only two amps. Is that bad? It may die before the main chute's open. I know lost. what the problems are, Henry. It'll be the worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. Gene. It's not over till it's over, man. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege flying with you. Oh, don't say last words. I mean, they know what the problems are. They know it's dangerous. Oh, frick, they're like a, just a fireball. It'd almost be better if there wasn't a window there. Expect to regain signal in three minutes. It depends on each you. And the parachutes. Oh my god. Look at all the condensation. 
How hot would it get in there? I can't imagine how much it would shake you around. What are the G's? What kind of G's would they be feeling? Maybe recovery and rescue helicopters already oh are circling, waiting. Just waiting now. No re-entering ship has ever taken longer than three minutes to emerge from blackout. This poor kid, he's not even with his family. This music makes it feel like it's, it would just be a miracle if they survive. Honestly, this is Houston, do you read? But all any of us can do now is just listen and hope. Can you imagine how long these minutes would feel? Honestly, Houston, do you read? They're starting to think the worst. That's four minutes standing by. Four minutes. Honestly, uh, Houston, do you read? He thinks it's over. Shoots opened. Oh, Houston, this is Honesty. Good to see you again. Could you imagine how you would feel? Yeah, I'd be crying. I'd be bawling. See you, Houston. Welcome home. Nailed it. Dean. Oh. He's tearing up! I'm tearing up! Oh. Yes! Thank God it's a happy ending. Oh. Miracle from the heavens they fell. Strums, mission complete. Nice job, buddies. Nice job, everyone. That was a team effort. This is Apollo 13 signing off. These strings! Oh, they'd be heroes. Heroes welcome. Our mission was called a successful failure in that we returned safely but never made it to the moon. Good enough. It was determined that a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank sparked during our cryo stir and caused the explosion that crippled the Odyssey. A damaged coil. I sometimes catch myself looking up at the moon, remembering the changes of fortune in our long voyage, thinking of the thousands of people who worked to bring the three of us home. Team effort. I look up at the moon and wonder, when will we be going back and who will that be? So good. Okay, guys, that was Apollo 13. That was so good. I loved it so much. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I'm not sure how accurate it is to the historical things that happened. I would love to know. But it felt very authentic and accurate to the time period. I'm sure they had to change some things like for dramatic purposes, but it felt very authentic, very accurate to the way that it, it would have gone down in a mission like this. So very curious to know how accurate it is. But man, it was so good. That cast is so good. I love all those guys. Seeing them all together in this movie was very cool. I'm so happy it was a happy ending. The score was so good. I need to watch more movies scored by James Horner. I really loved it. I loved especially the choir. It really made me think of space in a heavenly way. It was very cool. I, I liked that a lot. And also the da -da 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 and also the dramatic moments were very coolly punctuated by brass and by drums. I loved it so much. Man, this was really, really, really good. I should watch more Ron Howard movies too. Give me some Ron Howard movies we should check out. I would also like to watch more space movies. I love space movies. But yeah, overall, this one was great. I want to watch this movie again. I want to watch it again. It was so good. So good. Oh, I loved it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.